102. It's an exciting, exciting episode that millions and millions of viewers are watching. Taylor and Andrew, this is our big discussion around our next NFT home sale in the Tampa area market. I've got both of the agents who are involved in the listing side. Taylor, Andrew, you want to give us maybe a couple minutes on yourself? Sure. Hey, everyone. My name is Taylor Perino, and I'm a real estate agent down here in Florida with Premier Elite Realty. Really excited to be here and discuss the second U.S. NFT real property sale. Andrew, I think you're new to the webinar. Tell us about yourself. Yeah. Hey, guys. Uh, Andrew Daniels. Uh, I, work in, uh, I work in the Tampa Bay market, probably five hours north of, uh, of Taylor um, with uh, REMAX Alliance. But, um, you know, I joined the, uh, the property, uh, the property team back in July of last year, um, been doing real estate for seven years, um, and excited to, uh, you know, integrate uh, blockchain and real estate. Andrew, since you're, since you're rolling, let me start with you. The house that's going up for sale, date, time, specific things about it, neighborhood, can anything you tell us about the house? Yeah. I mean, the, the condo will, uh, will be up for sale here soon. Um, I believe later the uh, later today, it'll be up on the market. Um, the areas, I mean, Tampa Bay, if you're not familiar, um, it's probably the second hottest market next to Miami. Um, the condo itself, I mean, you're walking distance to uh, Bayshore, Amelie Arena, where the Lightning play, um, Convention Center, uh, Tampa General Hospital, uh, you walking distance to the cross, uh, the cross Bay ferry. So if you wanted to head over to St. Pete, check out the, uh, the last mm -hmm. NFT property that we, uh, we did, um, you can take a ferry over there. Uh, yeah. I mean, there's tons of stuff, tons of restaurants, tons of things to do down in Tampa. So, um, this is going to be a good opportunity for, uh, for people who, uh, want to make a bid on a, uh, on a condo in Tampa. Taylor, what, when does the, the house goes live today on the MLS? Is that what you're telling them? So it's going live on the MLS today. Um, it will be live April 12th, open to the public for bidding. Currently it's at, it's going to start at 185,000 USDC. So that is the stable coin, which is tied to the US dollar. So very exciting. We were, we were just having a debate before the camera started on USDC versus USDT. So to, to back Taylor's point, the house is going to go live uh, on the property.com um, marketplace for sale. Offers will be coming in on April 12th. So if you have questions about how to make an offer, how to submit an offer, how to get qualified to um, link your, to get property verified, to be able to make an offer on the house, go to property.com. They'll walk you through there, go through the KYC process there. So, so this, this house is a little bit different. It's our first house. It's actually an investment property. Do you guys know much about the lease or the, the tenant there, the situation? Taylor? So currently the tenant, they're actually um, planning on moving out, but it is awesome. It's a great, great property, one bed, one bath. And like Andrew was uh, saying before, it's super close to downtown Tampa, Tampa University, Hyde Park Village, which is a very upscale shopping center. Um, so it's it's a really awesome unit. And yeah, it's a perfect investment uh, condo. It's a perfect starter home for first time buyers. Um, close to Clearwater, St. Pete. So it's a really awesome area, awesome unit. And it, it was an investment property. Yeah. So it could be used for as a rental or as a traditional um occupancy um so let, let me ask you from from the the seller side Taylor, that you're representing the, the seller and andrew i may pick on you from the buy side walk yeah. me through the advantages of the nft process from a sell side why it makes sense for this seller in this case the nft uh their condo sure i mean it's just the overall process is just so much more simple um, you know, we're able to just have everything very transparent. We take care of everything for the seller um, with the help of Proppy, which has been, you know, great. 
And so pretty much we have the inspection done, title, everything within the platform is up there. So the seller can see what's going on at all times. So it's really just the ease of transaction and just letting us handle everything that we need to do to make it successful. Andrew, from the buy side, a lot of potential buyers on the webinar here. What are the ad, what, how is it advantageous from the buy side? What does the process look like? Give us your thoughts on that. Yeah, uh, well, I mean, you know, it, it, it kind of relates to, you know, the benefits on the sell side too. You know, when, when right now, when you go into make offers, the traditional route, uh, you don't have a, you know, a, a market analysis, a, a home inspection, a title report. You're not able to see those things. You're just kind of, uh, you know, giving your good faith, you know, offer out there. So uh, being, knowing those things ahead of time, you know, you're able to make a better educated decision. Um, not to mention, you know, the instant gratification of, of owning the property after, uh, after it, you know, after it sells, after you have, uh, after you've won. Um, yeah. I mean, those are, those are definitely the, the main things on, uh, you know, why it's, uh, why it's better to buy this way. Yeah. I mean, just, just to summarize where, where I think it's, where it's, it's really interesting. People often think the NFT process is kind of different, but it's really not. It's, it's very transparent. And if you think about what you're saying, Andrew, before I even make an offer, I can look at an inspection report. I can look at an appraisal. I can look at a CMA. I can look at, you know, mental history. I can, is there an open house on this house where I can even walk through it, Andrew? Well, funny you ask, Adam. Um, yeah. If uh, anybody who's interested in coming to take a look at the property, uh, if you're in town, uh, we're going to have an open house from 11 to two on Saturday. Um, it'll be open for anybody to come by. You guys can, you know, take a look at uh, all the information that I provide. You can take a look, you can walk through it personally. You can give me a call. I'll be happy to FaceTime, walk you through the house. Um, but yeah, if, uh, if anybody wants to come see it, it'll be, it'll be open from 11 to two. Andrew, will you be providing snacks? <laughs> I, uh, I'm planning on bringing cookies. That is, that is the one thing I think, uh, most people, uh, most agents bring or they bake there. I'm not going to bake them, but, uh, Publix has some pretty good cookies. I like it. I, my, my, my girlfriend made a board this weekend and she called it crew d'etat and it was just a plate full of damn vegetables. And I could have been more annoyed with crew. You ever heard of this, Andrew, crew d'etat? No, I haven't heard of crude talk. It's just chopped up vegetables. It sounds fancy. I thought it was charcuterie, which was meat and cheeses. I was just no. going to say. It was just chopped up veggies. It was the worst. And I was annoyed. And she had a bunch of classy people over. And I was annoyed because there's no cheese on the board. I don't want to go down a cheese and meat rabbit hole here, Andrew. But we can talk about that offline. Yeah. <laughs> so the, the, thing, the, thing about, the thing about the buy side that I, I really like, I think where it's really interesting to evolve is in a traditional market, I'm making an offer on a house without an inspection. The bank really hasn't approved that house yet because the appraisal is going to come back. As you know, Andrew and Taylor, the appraisal game is a shit show right now. No one knows where the appraisals are going to come out at. And then the bank says, hey, it doesn't appraise. But, so then it's a back and forth between my bank, my appraiser, and myself. And that's not even including the sell side who they don't care where my appraisal came at because they want their full list price and maybe more. That's why this NFT process is really, really transparent. People often say to me, yeah, but what about inspection? What if it's the wrong inspector? What about appraisal? What if it's the wrong appraiser? The whole process is designed to be 100% transparent for both sides of the transaction, reducing all the friction in the middle. So Taylor, in, in a perfect world, let's say you were the traditional listing side and Andrew, you were the traditional buy side. There is very little to negotiate. There's a little fight over. Taylor on this list side has provided all the relevant details for your, your buyer to be able to make an educated decision. Andrew, if you represent a buyer, before you walk in there, you can walk to the inspection report with the buyer. You can tell them about the neighborhood. You can tell them about the NFT process. You're bringing a tremendous amount of value. And a lot of times you'll be able to weed out houses that maybe aren't a good fit for them by looking at all that detailed information up front. Um, Absolutely. I get a little yeah. hyped up about that, so I, I apologize. So if I'm, no. if I'm from out of state, Andrew, and I want to look at this house, walk me through how I would do that. Well, uh, Taylor's provided a, um, a 3D rendering of the whole property. So right now, I mean, right now you can, you can look at the whole property, walk through it, um, see all the details that are you know, on the floor, the furniture, 
Um, but if you wanted to uh, talk to me while, while I'm in the property, then I would, you know, recommend you give me a call, but, uh, yeah. Yeah. On the property, if you go to property.com, you'll be able to check out the video and it's a Matterport video and it's pretty much, you're able to walk through the entire condo unit, like you're there. So it's, it's cool. Yeah. I read an interesting stat. 26% of all homes purchased last year were investment properties. Does this sound right to you guys? Yeah. 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 I, th I think the, the days of being able to look at a house two or three times in person with a fine tooth comb, beat the seller up. Those were the good old days. Nowadays, if you want to buy a property like this, a lot of people don't step through it. A lot of them don't even, I think over a, a third, almost 40% of houses didn't have an inspection last year. So, you know, it's, it's, th this process allows you to do all those things, look at it in person, look at the matter for make a virtual offer you know, link up your wallet. So Andrew, walk me through. So th th this platform is, is, is really interesting. And we're excited about this where we've got a, we've got a, a platform that allows uh, people from all over the country to make offers in on the house. We're using stable coin for the first time ever, which I'm, I'm, I'm super pumped about. Cause I think it'll, it'll alleviate any issues or anxiety that the traditional buyers might have about putting a bunch of money into, you know, cryptocurrency that swings violently because they may have heard, you know, things that aren't accurate. Although some, there are some days that, you know, a three to 5% swing on your crypto balance. If you're putting a million dollars in escrow to buy a house could be a real, real issue. Walk us through the stable coin and how it's going to be a, a, a value benefit for the, for the platform moving forward, Andrew. Yeah. So, I mean, I mean, just to, I mean, once you familiarize yourself with all these coins, the volatility becomes less important, but for, uh, you know, for everybody, you know, trying to get used to, you know, buying cryptocurrencies, using a wallet, um, you know, connecting to the marketplace, the property marketplace, uh, you know, USDC coin is going to give them a lots of, uh, you know, security on uh, that their money is going to be that money when it, when, when you go to offer, you know, there's, there's no volatility, you're able to uh, use the stable coin, you know, purchase the property. And even on the seller side, they don't have to worry about, you know, any violent swings and uh, the changes of price. And there are two stable yeah. coins right now that most people use, right, Taylor? Yeah. Yeah. It's USDT and USDC. Um, but because each USDC is backed by $1 or asset equivalent to fair value, um, it's held in accounts with U.S. regulated financial institutions. So I think going with the USDC is definitely a great, great choice. Yeah, so I, I, I agree. I think the stable coin is a game changer. I think the stable coin until the federal government comes out with an official cryptocurrency, which they will, which will be probably no better than USDC or USDT, um, but it'll make it a little bit more regulatory, a little bit more easier for people to swallow. I think the stable coin for real estate is a game changer. I think it's really, really um, interesting. And I think I think there is a level of comfort that people will have in putting large chunks of crypto if it's in a stable or pegged to the dollar to to, uh, to 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 the account for real estate. I had an interesting speaker. We we're at the Miami Crypto Summit. Taylor, you and I were there together. Um, and one of the main keynote speakers said, I, I don't worry about the volatility of Bitcoin. I, I, register, I look how fiat is volatile against crypto, which I thought was a really interesting statement that they, they see crypto as being the stable asset, 21 million tokens, very solid ownership level. And they see traditional markets bouncing against that. If you think about whether it's the geopolitical tension in Ukraine or even the Canadian truckers, how that those things do kind of move fiat. It is an interesting way to look at it because people think of fiat as the solid and crypto as the one jumping. I thought he was, an, it was Michael Arrington who said that, Taylor, who, who I think runs the largest crypto VC fund in the world. I thought that was an interesting statement. Um, yeah. So what, what else, Andrew, from a buyer's perspective, if I'm thinking about putting in a, an offer on, on the house on the property.com marketplace, Anything else I should know about the house or the process? Well, I mean, you, you're you going to need to have a MetaMask wallet. You're going to need to load the wallet with uh, funds to funds to purchase. And then once uh, once you go through the KYC, AML, uh, property marketplace process, then then you receive those uh, 
the appraisal, the inspection reports, title report, and uh, just, it's really that simple. You know, it's, you know, I, somebody's that somebody asked a question, um, you know, how does the process differ? Uh, it's not that the process is different. It's just things are done in a different order to be more transparent and to be able to provide a better service. Right. Well said. I'd also like to mention, I don't think we had said that literally with just a click of a button, you know, like the buyer, this transaction just all goes through, right? So usually in a traditional sale, there's bidding wars, there's, you know, dealing with multiple offers. In this case, I mean, whoever is bidding the highest on the platform, they instantly, you know, have ownership of the NFT, which um, represents the actual property. So I think with just one click of a button, it's just a game changer. Yeah, and, and what it, it's really interesting if you think about that, Taylor, from a realtor's perspective. I'm on the marketplace, April 12th. I submit the the best offer. My offer is accepted. I can literally move in April 13th or even 10 o'clock on April 12th or someone fancy like you, Taylor, you'd have your interior designer there maybe the next day, blowing out walls, doing fancy things like Chip and Joanna Gaines do on TV. But I think about it from a realtor's perspective, Andrew, you can, I know you represent a lot of buyers there in Tampa, buyers and sellers. Imagine if you're coming from up north and you have to, only be able to move in a certain time of year because your kid's school or a job transfer, or maybe your lease is up, you're coming out of the city and you, you want to get out and don't want to double, double rent. I mean, the ability to look on the property marketplace, and I'm talking maybe six months out a year out and see all the houses for sale as NFTs the day they go up for sale in the marketplace, go mm -hmm. buy them and literally work your transaction around your schedule versus now, fly into your market, Andrew, we pile into your Maybach, you drive us around, get some charcuterie. We put in an offer on a house, but we really don't know if we're going to close in 31 days, we're going to close in 51 days. Is the seller going to try to rent back from us for 60, 90 days because they can't buy a house? I mean, yeah. it really does. I don't have much leverage, at least in this process, the seller does everything on their end. They get the leverage. The buyer, when they want to buy and move in, they make the winning offer, the winning submission. Boom, they, it's all in there. And it, it, that feels normal to me. 10 years ago, if you just said to me, hey, you're going to get your groceries delivered by car, I'd have thought you're crazy. We thought we we're going to have the Uberfication of the world, but why would have thought you're crazy? You know, you buy cars now in Carvana, several like cars.com, they deliver the car to your front door. Okay. You know, young people are meeting each other on apps, which is not that new, but think about all the friction that we've reduced in life, but yet the real estate transaction has a tremendous amount of anxiety and friction in it. And you guys don't recognize it, Taylor and Andrew, because you do this every day. You work with hundreds of buyers and sellers. So to you, it's just your job. For the rest of us, that's a really long 45-day process that we don't ever really feel confident that's going to happen until we're either funded or we get those keys, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, any, anything can happen on closing day. You get through the 45-day process and you're there on closing day and something comes up, right? And you know, the deal just doesn't go through or something happens. So this way, having it, um, you know, it just makes the entire process so much more efficient, um, which is why I'm all for it. And in the future, futuristic, I just continue to see this type of, you know, NFT type of technology being integrated in future deals. Andrew. If I'm a buyer and I've got a mortgage, is the NFT process good for me? Yeah, absolutely. So th this, so if I think I think traditionally the NFT offers are people who have the funds available in their wallet, correct? Correct. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, I mean, if, if, if you're a seller trying to NFT your property, um, you know, I, as long as, you know, you're upfront, just like in any normal transaction, you know, the mortgage needs to be paid off. So if that's what needs to get done, that's, that's what will get done. That'll be the first on the list of things to do. Um, you know, I mean, I, I think down the road, I think once people start uh, learning about the, you know, DeFi companies that are giving out crypto mortgages, I think once people start getting educated on that 
and they start learning that they, they can start getting a crypto mortgage. They can go through that process and, um, you know, being able to start bidding on these properties with mortgages. So, uh, so I, I, I think on this, this particular marketplace, this particular offer, you, you need to have funds in your wallet um, mm -hmm. to be able to be eligible to put an offer in on this, this marketplace. I agree with you 100%, Andrew, that the, the DeFi, non-custodial, even the traditional banking is evolving at a scary rapid pace. I, I, I think when I think of this process, and I used this analogy before, so I'm sorry if I bore you. Um, so if I, I think of this analogy, the, the, the green light of the stoplight to me is the, the, the lending aspect of it is evolving very quickly. I think within yeah. months, you'll be able to have mortgage backed loans against NFTs and, and vice versa. Um, I think the yellow light in that, in that traffic light analogy is title and escrow is evolving somewhat quickly. They're, they're coming around. I think there's a few title companies out there that are using Web3 technology really well. I think that will mitigate, that will propagate the rest of them to do, to do the same. I think the municipalities are a little slow to evolve. I think there's a lot of Byzantine, archaic infrastructure that's almost self-imposed for, for relevance. Mm -hmm. um, I, I don't know. What, what, do you, what, do you, what are you seeing out there in terms of um, DeFi lending, non-custodial lending, Taylor? Have you dealt much in that arena yet? Just starting to get more involved. I think... Um... I think it's about educating, you know, clients and having them understand that this is accessible for them and it's a good resource if they, you know, choose to use it. But um, definitely looking for in future future sales and deals to get more involved in the DeFi world. Yeah, I mean, I would I would encourage people to uh, to look up DeFi mortgages, DeFi lending. You know, get educated on on the whole space. I mean, there's, you know, people who can borrow against their cryptocurrencies for down payments. Um, you know, there's companies that will, you know, let you borrow against your NFTs. So, um, you know, you just have to make the phone call. You just have to reach out to those people, ask questions and, you know, learn because, you know, we're, we're still early to this. So, you know, there's a big learning curve. We got to do a lot of educating, uh, a lot of, you know, showing, you know, us real estate agents, you know, we, you know, we know, we know this because we're talking about it, but I think the, uh, the majority of real estate agents, you know, there's going to be a big onboarding of, of agents that, that need to learn. Yeah, it is, it is still early, but it's definitely here to stay. So why not start learning and understanding how it all works now rather than later? Well said. So if I want to look at images of the home 3D Matterport tour, I can go to the marketplace on property.com. Is that accurate? Yeah. The, so we, if I want to learn more about the process, property.com would be, would be the best. I'm reading these comments and questions as we go. I'm terrible at multitasking. Property.com would be the best place to go. If I want to look at the house on the MLS or Zillow, truly, when is it going to go live, Andrew? Uh, the, the property is going to be live tonight. So okay. once, uh, once it goes live on MLS, you know, it'll be syndicated out to all the websites and, you know, any, you could just Google the address at that point and, uh, you know, be able to find it. Open house is going to be Saturday, 11 to two. So if, uh, if you, or, you know, anybody who wants to come by, take a look, uh, be happy to show you the house. We can talk about, uh, NFT properties talk about the real estate industry, how the, how this whole, uh, how this whole space is merging together. Uh, yeah. I'm happy to talk about this stuff. Okay. What's the address guys? It is 1000 West Horatio street and it's unit 127 in Tampa, Florida. Let me say it again. Cause your mic's a little low to sure. say it again, Andrew 1000 Horatio, like the guy from CSI Horatio. What is it, Andrew? Yeah, 1000 West Horatio Street, Tampa, Florida, 33606, unit 127. And you'll it's, be there uh, Saturday. I'll be there Saturday. It's uh, 
I would say it's a third, it's a 20 minute walk from Amelie arena, a 10 minute walk to Bayshore drive where they, uh, where we have the Gasparilla parade, Gasparilla marathon races. Um, yeah, it's a nice area. Very nice. Will you be signing pictures and taking photographs? Andrew? Absolutely. Absolutely. You will. So if they bring their own glossy of you, you will sign said photo and take selfies for anyone who wants to come. Yeah, I'll be there taking pictures all day. <laughs> it's also, it's super close to the University of Tampa. So investment wise, I mean, I think this is a great investment opportunity. There's just a lot going on around that area. So even for someone to just put in a bid and, you know, win it and buy it and rent it out or something like that, it's a great opportunity. Excellent. Excellent. Well, good guys. Well, let's, let's do this again. Andrew, I'd like you to come on after the sale. Uh, I'd love you to tell us your feedback on the things we can do better, how well it went. I'll be super excited. The day of the, the day that the, the houses go live in the marketplace always gives me great anxiety. Uh, so it'd be fun to kind of connect afterwards. And then, uh, and then if anyone wants to learn more about the process, check it out at property.com. If you have any specific questions, you can always reach out to the team or myself. I'm Adam at property.com, Adam at property.com. If, if realtors or home buyers or sellers want to get a hold of either one of you two, what's the best way to get a hold of you, Taylor? Um, you guys can DM me on Instagram. So if you want to check it out, I can put it in the chat and feel free to reach out. And I'd be happy to answer any questions. So, Andrew, if people want to find you, where would they find you? LinkedIn, Twitter, MySpace. What are we looking for here? Uh, you can you can find me on Instagram, Tampa Realtor Andrew. That's that'll be the easiest way. I'm on Twitter too. You might not be able to you know find me too easily. I got the uh, I got my name's in Ethereum, and I got an NFT picture, so you won't you won't see me too quickly on on Twitter. All right. but. If they wanted to reach out to you directly with a phone number to look at the house, what would have, what's your number again, Andrew? Yeah. Uh, 727-992-0923. That's my cell phone number. And then Tampa Realtor Andrew on Instagram. Good deal. All right, guys. Thanks for coming on. Looking forward to it. If anybody out there has more questions, the team here at property.com will walk you through it, or you can email me directly at Adam at property. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks guys. Appreciate it. Thanks so much guys. Thank you.